Where are you going, sweetheart? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, is he so cool. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today, it's mine and Lori's anniversary. Happy anniversary, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you. Do you like them? I love them. I will give you a kiss that I'm sick and I'll just give you a hug. Okay. <laughs> thank you. I don't want to give you, give you sickness. Yeah, don't give me that gift, please. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much. I love them. So I was kind of thinking today that it might be a good day to just let all my animals loose. Well, not all of them loose, but give them a little bit of freedom. You know, we always let Elvis, the monitor, run around. I figure maybe I'll take Daisy out. We'll take a few other animals out and run around. What do you guys think? Uh, let's start with Daisy. I used to let Daisy out to kind of wander in the dungeon quite a bit, and then even sometimes bring her upstairs where she couldn't get herself in trouble and wander around there. Now that she has such a huge cage, I mean, even though she looks really big, look at how big her cage is. She certainly doesn't need that kind of stretching out. So I really haven't had her out as far as just wandering around the Raptarium other than when people are here to actually look at her. So uh, let's just go ahead and take her out. We'll let her roam around, see what she does for a little bit. I have no idea. You know, she's not a super energetic animal to begin with, to be honest with you. But hey, let's pull her out. You have to be careful when you're pulling out a big snake to never let them kind of fold over on each other. They're so heavy that they can actually injure themselves if you're not careful. So you have to be a little bit thoughtful when you're actually pulling her out. But she seems to actually be like being out right now. Where are you going, sweetheart? What are you doing? She is such an amazing snake. Look at how gorgeous she is. And again, it's just really cool to have a snake that's literally this big and this long and so docile that you never have to worry about anything. What's up, girl? What are you doing? You having a good time? And again, you know, she's not a real energetic animal. If I had Lucy out like this, she'd already be over that by the back door, just cruising, cruising. But Daisy doesn't move around a lot. That's one of the things that's nice when you can pull her out when people are around, even kids, because you can actually pick her up, kind of move her around, do whatever you want with her. And she doesn't move very much. You can see she's a pretty chill animal and she's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this is the snake that I think is really cool to pull out when the opportunity is right. And there's a ton of people here. We don't pull Daisy out just because, listen, she's still a 19-foot snake. But when there's 20 or 30 people, we can actually pull her out. Everyone can hold her. We can get five or six people and take pictures with her, you know, draped across all of them. So it's really a great ambassador animal to kind of show how gentle big snakes can actually be. Gosh, she's so gorgeous. Look at her. And this is the one thing that's really been kind of tripping me out, to be totally honest with you, is I cannot tell you how many of my animals I let out and they literally crawl right back into their cage. I mean, you saw Daisy was all the way down there. She crawled all the way back, right up back into her cage. I think that's a great sign that they must be really happy. I mean, Taz does it all the time. I mean, I have him out, he crawls around a little bit and then he crawls right back. When I feed him outside the cage, he crawls right back in his cage. So many of my animals actually do that. And that just makes me so happy because in all honesty, when I kept them in the racking systems, they seemed like they never wanted to go back in their cage. Now they literally go back on their own. How freaking awesome is that? Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and let Elvis go out for a run. Now we do this all the time, to be honest with you. We like to at least like once a day, sometimes twice a day, just let him kind of run around the shop. But uh, he looks absolutely amazing because Andrea kind of gave him a nice clean up today. Look at how beautiful he looks. Elvis, you okay, bud? You okay? Good boy. Good boy, you wanna come out? You wanna come out? Oh, come out, come on. There you go. There you go, bud. And for those of you that haven't been following, you know, he's an Asian water monitor. These guys are from the Indonesia area and uh, really cool. I've actually chased these guys around, believe it or not, on a golf course of all things. But one of the things I'm gonna try to do today, I have no idea if it works. I bought this harness here. I actually got it for Phoebe, so Lori could let Phoebe run around with it. But I think if we could put this on Elvis, it might be really cool to see like his perspective 
of running around the shop. Again, I have no idea if it's gonna work or not, but you can see how curious he is. I mean, what an awesome animal. He's not afraid, he's not timid, anything. He's just kind of walking around, you know, you can see, he'll come up, he'll smell me. He's just, he's just such an awesome animal. And the more that he's around people, the better he's even getting. Look at how amazing that is. Oh my gosh, is he so cool. And again, Andrea cleaned him up. He looks absolutely gorgeous now. Kind of got all that kind of just, you know, sometimes monitors get stuck shed on him and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, Elvis, you're beautiful. Okay, what do you say we try to put this harness on and see what we can do? Again, no clue if this is going to work. Decided to abandon the harness because uh, honestly, I don't want Elvis to get stressed out. He definitely didn't seem like he liked it that much. So rather than trying to force it on, I just decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and follow him around with the camera, see where he wants to go. What are you looking at, buddy? You wonder, is that Daisy up there? Is that Daisy? And that's the thing that's so amazing is he's so curious. You know, and actually, this is kind of interesting. Daisy's looking this way. Elvis is looking that way. What are you looking at, Elvis? What are you silly? Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny. Look at those two. Looking at each other. Again, I think that's what's so interesting about Elvis and monitors in particular is just how intelligent they are. They're just kind of looking around trying to figure everything out. I'm not exactly sure what he's thinking he's going to do if he gets inside Daisy's cage because I have a feeling Daisy would come out on top of that fight. But I think he just wants to come in there and climb around and stuff like that to be honest with you. Regardless, as you can see, Elvis is a pretty amazing animal. And I'm so happy that Kevin over at Nerd allowed me to get him because he is so cool. I mean, so much fun. What an amazing, amazing. You're so silly, buddy. What are you doing? Let's take a quick break from releasing everything at the Reptarium and go ahead and feed the new Mata Mata Turtles. Well, since it didn't work to put the harmonist on Elvis, I thought maybe we would try it on Taz. He's certainly a lot more mellow, doesn't seem to be as upset, but if it doesn't work for Taz, that's completely fine. Again, I'll never stress out my animals just for entertainment purposes, but if it's something that's cool, we'll do our best we can do. So let's give it a shot with Tazzy. Again, I'll put it on him. If he seems stressed out, I'll take it right off and then we'll just follow him around. Regardless, I love the fact that we can let our animals kind of explore the place a little bit. A lot of these guys do it all the time anyway, because they come out while we're open. And even on the off days, we let them out to kind of roam around. So let's see if we can get to Abby. You know what guys, there is just no way that this is going to work. I mean, as much as I think it would be really cool to get that perspective shot, uh, I just can't stress the animals out. Again, I'm just kind of letting him crawl through, but as soon as he crawls through, he kind of starts to get a little bit antsy. So I'm just going to let him crawl right on through and we'll just leave him out for a little bit. Again, it was a really cool idea. And all in all, the real purpose for this harness is actually for the dogs anyway. So Zeusy and Phoebe can actually use it and they'll be completely fine. Looks like no point of view shots for you, Tazzy. Are you okay, buddy? You're not mad at me are you are you okay you aren't mad at me are you tazzy and again you know taz is another one of those animals that's just so chill i mean as you can see he just kind of hangs out here it's just great when kids come to the reptarium to get a chance to you know pet and kind of interact with a lizard that's pretty big and you know he's going to get even larger but it's kind of cool just to hang out with him again he doesn't do a whole lot he's not nearly as energetic as elvis is but at the same time he's super cool and he's got a great personality right taz Right, buddy? Well, it isn't quite high excitement when you're hanging out with Taz. I mean, this is pretty much all he does. But that's what makes him so incredible, right, buddy? All right, what do you think about trying to let Nova out? I have no idea. I've never let Nova out before. Might be kind of interesting. Let's give that a shot. Like I mentioned, when it comes to Nova, I have no idea how he's going to react. He might just sit here. He might run. He might do anything. He loves his cage. And even when I take him out, he usually jumps back in his cage. So I don't think he needs to run around or anything. But it might be kind of interesting just to see what he does. What do you say? Nova? You want to come out? Oh, come on. Don't be a silly monkey. Okay, so here we go. Nova, you want to go? What do you want to do? Nova, what do you want to do, bud? Oh, 
Gee. Nova, where are you going, buddy? You don't, do you not like it outside? Oh my gosh. No, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Like I mentioned, it doesn't seem like Novo likes it outside. I think he likes his cage. I mean, I'll just go ahead and put him back. You wanna go back in, bud? There you go. There goes sweetheart. Again, I never wanna stress the animals out. I'm just kinda of messing around a little bit and seeing if they wanna run around. If they wanna run around, I thought, you know, if Novo wanted to run around, climb a tree or something like that, I think it would be awesome. I would totally let him. But it seemed like he was just kinda of stressed out. He's just trying to get away. I don't want that to happen with these animals. So cute, oh my gosh. I love when he runs like that, where he goes like doo, 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 doo. But we have a really amazing bond. One of the things about the Reptarium that's really cool is that, you know, we're starting to get this kind of relationship between the animals. They know when they're safe area is where I won't touch them if they get to an area like if Nova goes way up there at the top I'm done I will not take him out he knows that so that's kind of his safe area same thing with Bella she goes into a specific area where if she goes there she knows I'm not gonna take her out I'm not gonna pet her I'm gonna leave her alone we're trying to kind of create that kind of relationship with these animals so that they know when they're willing to come out and willing to experience that we let them do it but if not we just leave them alone right Nova you're okay buddy it's all right buddy buddy with the fail of Elvis and then Taz with the harness, I know one animal that doesn't mind having a camera on it. You guys know this. It's going to be Speedy Cam. That's right. We'll go ahead and tape a goat for on Speedy. And while we're at it, we might as well tape a camera on Savvy next door. We'll let them run around for a little while and get their point of view. Uh, that's always a lot of fun. And there are times where I'll let Speedy just out in the crowd when it's open at the Reptarium. It's really funny because people are like, is that a tortoise? So let's go ahead and get Speedy Cam going. And that concludes the Let My Animals Out in the Reptarium part of this vlog. We actually have a pretty special event tonight. We want the Reptarium to be kind of a really cool place for all kinds of people. We realize a bunch of people with autism have an issue with like sensory and overload. And when we're open to the public, there's just too much going on. So tonight we have a special needs night for a sensory safety type night. We only sold eight spots. So that's all that's coming in tonight so that they don't have to be overwhelmed with too many people. We're gonna do some individual things, let them get close to the animals and let them kind of enjoy ourselves. We want to continue to do all kinds of things like this. If you have any ideas like this for us, please comment down below because we want to accommodate everyone. We want everyone to enjoy these animals as much as possible. Just wrapping up the special event, I think it went really well. I think I was yeah. really happy. It was cool to have kind of a smaller group. The kids were really cool, really into it. So this was this was absolutely awesome. But of course, like I mentioned, it is our anniversary. So we're about to go out for an anniversary dinner and we're not taking you guys along. Nope. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys, as always, for all your support. Have a wonderful day, evening. Whenever you happen to be watching, do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on, leave a comment. Let me know something awesome about you guys. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.